Prince Harry has a book coming out, and he details a story in it about a fight he had with his brother, Prince William. They got in a fight after William insulted Harry's wife, Meghan Markle. Harry claims William called Meghan difficult, rude, and abrasive. A leaked extract from Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, alleges that Prince William physically confronted the Duke of Sussex in 2019 following an argument over Meghan Markle. And now everyone is jumping on that claim, including your favorite talk show host, Jimmy Kimmel. During his latest appearance, Kimmel comically reenacted the said fight, and Prince Harry wasn't particularly impressed with the man he considers a friend. So, what did Kimmel say? How did Harry Harry react, and what was this fight about anyway? Let's find out. Prince Harry claims in his new memoir that just two words sparked a disagreement between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton shortly before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were wed in 2018. The Sun obtained an early copy of Harry's memoir, Spare, which accidentally went on sale in Spain five days before its official publication date. Explaining that royal situation to his crown, host Jimmy Kimmel elaborated on the incident before playing a video of two people fighting in the kitchen, the two who lightheartedly represented the two royal brothers feuding. Prince Harry, who left his royal duties some time back to focus on building his family with Meghan, is said to be furious not only with Kimmel for mocking him but with the leakage as well. But where exactly did the rain start beating the royal brothers? In an excerpt loosely translated by the outlet on Thursday, January 5th, the Sun says the clash kicked off when Meghan reportedly told Kate over the phone that she had baby brain. Kate had recently given birth to her third child, Prince Louis. The son claims that Meghan was reprimanded by Prince William, who put his finger in her face, which the Duchess asked him to remove. Other outlets that obtain copies of Harry's book have confirmed it contains the account. US Weekly detailed another disagreement between Meghan and Kate over Princess Charlotte's flower girl dress, which led to Meghan crying, according to the outlet. Originally, the press reported that Meghan made Kate cry over the clash over flower girl dresses before the wedding. Meghan told Oprah Winfrey in her sit-down interview in 2021 that it was actually the other way around. The reverse of what was reported happened, Meghan told Winfrey in their interview. And I don't say that to be disparaging toward anyone because it was a really hard week of the wedding. And Kate was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing. And she did what I would do if I knew that I hurt someone, right? To just take accountability for it. What was shocking was, six or seven months after our wedding, that the reverse of that would be out in the world," Meghan added. When Oprah asked why the palace press offices didn't correct the narrative when the opposite version was published, Meghan replied, "'That's a good question. And now, royal followers have been met with shock following Harry's allegations. The younger one of the two princes claims he was physically attacked by his brother Prince William. The incident was said to have taken place at Harry's London home in 2019. When William arrived at Harry's home of Nottingham Cottage on the grounds of Kensington Palace, known as Not Caught, Harry claims his older brother was already piping hot, according to the report. Harry then claims William called Meghan Markle difficult, rude, and abrasive, to which Harry replied that his brother was simply parroting of the press narrative about his wife. The Guardian reports that Harry then accused his brother of acting like an heir, after which insults were exchanged. William reportedly claimed he was just trying to help. Are you serious? Harry said in reply, per the report. Help me, sorry, is that what you call this? Helping me. After giving William a glass of water, Harry said, Willie, I can't speak to you when you're like this. It was at this point that the argument escalated into a physical confrontation. He set down the water, called me another name, then came at me. It all happened so fast, so very fast, Harry writes in spare, and that part is well played by Jimmy Kimmel. William set down the water. Then he called me another name. You're a wife. Then he came at me, and we tussled. It all happened so fast. He grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor. I landed on the dog's bowl, which cracked under my back, the pieces cutting into me. I lay there for a moment, dazed, then got to my feet and told him to get out. Harry adds that William urged him to fight back, just as he had as a boy. When he refused, he writes that William left, only to return later looking regretful. He then apologized. Later, when leaving, William turned and called back, you don't need to tell Meg about this, Harry claims, to which he says he replied, you mean that you attacked me. I didn't attack you, Harold, William countered, according to Harry. Afterwards, Harry says he called his therapist for help. It was only when Meghan later noticed scrapes and bruises on his back that he says he revealed the incident to his wife. She wasn't that surprised and wasn't all that angry. Harry writes, she was terribly sad. Harry's memoir is scheduled to be published on January 10. The leak comes ahead of two upcoming television interviews filmed with ITV News anchor Tom Bradby and CNN anchor Anderson Cooper. 
This isn't the first time Jimmy Kimmel and Prince Harry are rubbing shoulders. In May 2021, Kimmel was part of the celebrity lineup for Vax Live. The concert was co-chaired by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and aimed to raise money for vaccine equity. But, weeks before sharing a stage with the Duke of Sussex, the comedian actually mentioned the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey during his show and questioned one particular aspect of the jaw-dropping tell-all. Speaking on Jimmy Kimmel Live, the star said, I thought Meghan and Harry came across well, they seemed genuine, but there was one part of the interview that didn't ring true to me. When Oprah asked them if they had seen a certain Netflix show. During the interview, the Sussexes explained how their dynamic within the royal family changed after their South Pacific tour back in 2018. The success of that tour has since been compared to the triumph of Princess Diana and Prince Charles tour of Australia back in 1983, an event which featured heavily in The Crown's previous season. Oprah said, I'm thinking because I watched The Crown. Okay, I watched The Crown. Do you all watch The Crown? Meghan giggled while Harry said, I've watched some of it. You've watched some of it? Nodding, Meghan repeated, I've watched some of it. Discussing this particular clip of the interview, Kimmel told his audience, All right, no one watches some of The Crown. Once you start The Crown, you finish The Crown, you're hooked. Oprah then probed the couple to see if they were referring to Diana's Australia tour, where she won over the hearts of the public, and was accused of outshining the Prince of Wales, as portrayed in Netflix's fictional series. Harry agreed the treatment of Meghan after their tour did bring back memories of his mother's popularity, and added, I just wish that we would all learn from the past. In a trailer of an upcoming interview with Bradley, he grills the Duke about whether he has invaded his own family's privacy by appearing in the Netflix documentary Harry and Meghan and writing the memoir. Some people will say you've railed against invasions of your privacy all your life, and the accusation will be here are you invading the privacy of your nearest and dearest without permission. Bradby says in the new trailer, that would be the accusation from people that don't understand or don't want to believe that my family has been briefing the press, responds Harry. When Bradby goes on to suggest that Prince William is likely asking how could you do this to me after everything? The Duke subtly replies, he would probably say all sorts of different things. It never needed to be this way. Harry told Bradby in a separate preview release Monday in which no questions can be heard. He goes on to refer to the leaking and the planting of stories in the British press before telling Bradby, I want a family, not an institution. At another point in the interview, Harry says, they feel as though it is better to keep us somehow as the villains and they have shown absolutely no willingness to reconcile, although it is not clear who he is referring to. He adds, I would like to get my father back. I would like to have my brother back. Whatever is happening to the royal brothers is ugly, but hopefully, they will sort out their differences before it is too late. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.